Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. And as promised, we are going to continue our lessons talking about cropping. So cropping, very simple. Sometimes there's information in an image you just don't want to see. Maybe you just don't want some of the stuff on the outside. You want the plate of food to be the focus point. Okay, so how do we crop? Very, very simple. We're going to go over to here to our crop tool. You'll notice that as soon as I do that, I get this nice little cropping bounding box. All right, now cropping is relatively simple, but I do want to show you some things that can be really helpful in terms of the parameters around cropping. And the first thing is going to be this guy right here, this delete cropped pixels option, which is chosen by default. So what does that mean? If I were to start cropping, notice here I have my little cropping bounding box. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And you'll see here, because I have delete crop pixels there, if I were to click on this little check mark, all that stuff is gone for good, meaning I won't be able to get it back if I ever want to see it again, right? And that to me is a little bit dangerous. So I don't like that. So I'm going to uncheck that. All right. So then if I were to crop it and I were to click on this little check mark, I'll be able to get that back next time I'm ready to crop. Okay. So now I can also get that back. No problem. Okay. If that was checked, then I wouldn't be able to get it back. Now, what are the pros of that? Well, the benefits would be, well, maybe you want to have a smaller file size because when you're cropping and you delete some of that extra information, therefore your file size gets smaller because all that information is gone as well. Okay. So up to you, just good to know you can do that. All right. Now you'll also notice that there is maybe one or two things you may want to change here. You know, so for example, this auto center preview, right? If you can see here, Notice how it kind of auto centers it right there. It kind of moves a little bit. Some people like that. Some people don't. So you can just uncheck that and you can see here, it doesn't necessarily move. The image doesn't move. It's just a cropping box. And my preference is actually just to do this little cropping box, just like that. Right? So that's really my preference. Of course, just know you have options. It's really up to you. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this back to where it was and notice they're coming right back. Really nice. All right. And you can even crop outside of what we have inside of the canvas. Okay. Now you'll also notice that there are some presets. Okay. So right now in this little drop down, I have this ratio, right? Which is basically going to allow us to do very manual type of cropping, which a lot of us, that's what we're going to do. But many times we know what the ratio is going to be. Like if you're working with like, you know, Instagram, something like that, where we know it has to be a square or like, just say you're, you're having to put in an image of yourself, you know, and that image of yourself on like LinkedIn or something has to be a particular size, right? You can see, you can very easily do that. So when I choose this ratio of one to one, notice how it automatically does that for me. And then I can then move my image within the crop as well if I want to see that and just notice how it's a perfect square and I could even click and drag to go out or this way or even in and notice how it maintains that ratio. Okay. And I can move this around accordingly. All right. And then just notice here, it says one to one, one to one right there. Okay. Or you can choose any other one that you want to work with as well. And you can also even do your own crop preset, do your own personalized one as well. Okay. And then when I'm done, I can simply click on that and I'm good to go and I'm done. So it's as easy as that cropping pretty straightforward. In another lesson, we're going to talk about perspective cropping, which is kind of buried inside of here. Okay. And that's a really neat tool as well. Okay. So practice that and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe. So you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.